Hello everyone, this is Sandara and this is my introduction to brushes in Photoshop. Right. <coughs> uh, first, how to load a brush. Let's say you have downloaded an ABR file. This is a Photoshop brush file. Um, the fast way is you can just drag it into Photoshop, not onto the canvas but anywhere outside the canvas. Right, just release and although it seems like nothing happens but actually the brush has been appended to, okay, if you right click uh, when you're in the brush mode, it's been appended to the bottom of the list of brushes that you currently have. So this is the bunch of brushes that I, uh, that I just added. Right. So let's say you want to use the brush that you just added, but it's right at the bottom of the list and every time you want to use it, you need to scroll down. That gets a little bit troublesome. So what I recommend is your most commonly used brushes, you move them all up to the front. And to, in order to move your brushes around, what you do is this little icon over here on the top right, you just press it and there is something called Preset Manager. Right. Once you select it, you can now move your brushes around. So for example, if I want this brush, I can grab it and just move it all the way up. Okay, I, I have really a lot of brushes. So. Okay, um, and I can just put it anywhere I want, right, right in front. there. So once that's done, I'll press done, and this brush will always be the first one in the list. Okay, there are a few other options here. This is the, there is a load brushes option here as well. So <coughs> you can actually use this and yeah, load your brushes from wherever you kept it. Right, let's you select the file. And mm, uh, there's a whole bunch of options you can play with it, right? You can, adjust the icon size so you can see the brushes better. I usually use a small thumbnail. Okay, let's say you have really a lot of brushes or you loaded a lot and then there's some that you don't want to use anymore. So what you can do is, like you must go to Preset Manager first. Alright, so let's say you want to delete your brushes. Okay, so go to the Preset Manager, press Shift to select multiple brushes <coughs> and you can just delete and they'll be gone. Alright, so once you're done, just press Done. Okay, now I'll just go through with you guys some of the more commonly used brushes for myself. Right, so this one is my square brush. This is what it looks like. It's got a very slight texture in, inside it. Right, you can see from here there's very little texture inside. And I most commonly use this brush for my speed paintings and for painting stuff like rocks and leaves. Right, so let me just show you how I use this brush. Right, um, let's say I'm painting a bunch of rocks. So the shape of this brush is really suited for painting rocks. Right, so yeah, and because of the texture inside the brush, the entire painting will have this very slight texture feel to it. Right, so this is my square brush. And the next commonly used brush, this brush I use a lot, my round brush. Right. Um, I use this brush a lot for blending because it's very sensitive to the pen pressure. So depending on how hard you press. <coughs> and lets you do very smooth blending. And if I'm painting things like skin or something really soft, I can drop the hardness. Right, so this brush is really good for blending. This brush not so much because it's so hard. Right, it's kind of difficult to blend properly. So it gives you a very rough kind of feeling to the painting. Whereas this round brush will give you a very smooth and very well blended look. So depending on the style I'm going for, I'll just um, use either one of these brushes. Mm. These two brushes, I don't really use them that much, mainly for just doing line work, like, because they're a little bit harder than the round brush. Right, so they're not very good for blending as well, because they're a bit hard, so I just use them mostly. Okay, um, this is my pencil brush. It just looks a lot like pencil. So if you want to replicate something that looks like a pencil sketch, I would just use this brush. 
And this is my chalk brush. Um, this one, I commonly use it for blocking when I'm doing my speed paints. Because right, it has a very slight texture as well and doesn't really blend so well. So again, you get a very rough texture as you paint. Um, <clears throat> in case you didn't know, when you're in the brush mode and when you hold down the alternate key, it will bring up the color picker tool. So I always keep one finger on the alternate key so that I can very quickly pick colors so I can blend right, really easily without having to go to the color panel and then you know trying to pick colors from here. Instead, I just pick straight from the picture itself. Okay, what else? <coughs> And yeah, this is the canvas brush. It's got a very, very hard canvas texture, I guess. Um, probably I won't be using this so often, but the texture is very nice. Looks quite realistic. Okay, so basically my two most commonly used brushes are these two. Right? The rest are just for effect. And of course, um, if you look at my brush list, I actually have tons of brushes. Uh, most of them are downloaded from Leventap. Okay, so now we can actually make further adjustments to the brush that we currently have. And we can do that by accessing the brush panel, which is this icon over here. So press it and it will give you a whole load of options uh, that you can play with to change the size of your brush, the shape of your brush, right? So the first option is the brush tip shape and by Adjusting the points here, you can make your brush thinner or thicker. This is the maximum that you go. Uh, I can make it thinner. By pulling the arrow, you can adjust the angle of your brush. So now the brush, instead of being round, is actually oval. Right, so when I paint it over here, it looks slightly different from the original. Okay, you can adjust the spacing of your brush. Although I'm not very sure why you would want to do this, but yeah, I guess you get an interesting effect out of it. You can usually set it to really low, like 1% or something. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you can select any of the other brushes you like to make changes to over here. You can change the size of your brush. Right, so now it's really big, mm, a little smaller. Okay, right. and there's a whole bunch of other options here, which I will go through um, later when I talk about making the custom brushes. Okay, so let's say you're happy with this now new oval brush that you have. Um, you can close the panel, but what's important is that you've got to remember to save the brush. Okay, so in order to save your newly adjusted brush, you have to go over to the panel, this little icon again, and select new brush preset. Alright, and now you can name your brush. Let's call it oval. And your new brush is now appended to the end of the list. Right? And the original brush that you started from is still there. It's not changed. Right? So you need to remember to save every time you make a new brush or make changes to it. Okay. 